What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today I'm going to be showing custom firmware users how they can upgrade their SD cards from potentially a 4 gigabyte or an 8 gigabyte to something even larger than a 32 gigabyte SD card. Now the whole issue with this is if you go to a 64 or a 128, then they're going to come in this micro SD XC format. And that format does not natively work with the Nintendo 3DS XL. So what we need to do is get this into a format that the 3DS can read. And I'm going to be showing you guys a way that you can do that using God Mode 9. And it's super simple. And then all we have to do is copy over the contents of the SD card to this newly formatted one. And you'll still have custom firmware, all of your apps, all your games, and all of your saves. Let's get this started. The SD card I have purchased is a SanDisk Micro SDXC, as I stated before. Now it's got a class 10 write speed as well as it is a 64 gigabyte in size. So this is a fairly large size, probably the second largest size that the 3DS can actually hold. Once you get to 64 and 128 gigabyte SD cards, the 3DS loads things maybe a little bit slower. I chose the 64 because I thought it was a decent size and it wasn't as big as the 128 so I'm hoping I don't get as much slowdown and yet can still hold a ton of stuff. Potentially I could even run an emu NAND on this massive of a card. So I'm not saying I'm going to be running an emu NAND anytime soon but let's get this thing open. So you can see the card comes with a micro SD to normal size SD adapter. They've got this line on the back that you can go ahead and cut across, so let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully we can just get into this thing somehow. Okay, seemingly I gotta cut into this a little bit more because it's not letting me get into it. Oh my god, she's sucking there, good, eh? Here we go. We got it. There is the SanDisk Ultra 64 gigabyte micro SD XC card, as well as a little, little adapter beside it. Man, they really don't want you to get into these things. Oh, I see something that says open on the corner here. Oh, 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 gosh. well that didn't freaking work at all. What is that crap? I'm gonna stab it with this screwdriver here. Ha ha. Man, I suck at opening stuff. Get out of here. I got it. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the little, the other little thingy. I did it. We got ourselves a flipping SD card. Now to prepare for this, all we have to do is remove the screws on the back of this and take off the little back plate so that we can access the SD card. And now we have access to the micro SD card. Now don't remove your SD card yet, but we're going to go ahead and boot ourselves into God Mode 9. Go ahead and hold the start button and power on your device. This will either boot you into Luma Chain Loader or straight into God Mode 9. If it happens to boot you into Luma Chain Loader as it has for me here, go ahead and select your newest version of God Mode 9. I've got 1.3.1 .1 here. Now that you're in God Mode 9, what you need to do is hit the R button and the B button at the same time. And this is going to unmount your SD card. So there we go. You can see it says remount my SD card because now it's unmounted. So now what you want to do without closing the lid, pop out your SD card from the back. Go ahead and insert your new SD card. If you get an initializing SD card failed retry, go ahead and press B for no. And now you can see it still says remount SD card. What we need to do now is press the home button. This is going to bring up a little menu like this. Scroll down till you see more dot dot dot, hit A on it. 
and you're going to see SD format menu and you're going to go ahead and hit A on SD format menu and now you're given four options here. You want to pick the very top option with no emu NAND. We're going to go ahead and press the A button on no emu NAND. Hit auto. So now it wants you to name the SD card. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it named God Mode 9 SD and just hit the A button. So now this is going to format the SD card. So go ahead and enter in the little key combination here. I'm going to hit down, left, up, left, and then A. So it's now formatting the SD card and it's already done. You can see it's now remounted it and it's pretty much empty. You can see I've got 59.4 gigabytes free at the top there. Now all we have to do is copy over the information from this SD card to a computer and then we'll take this SD card out, put it into this micro SD adapter, put that into a computer and copy all the files over. So we're essentially literally just copying this 8 gigabyte SD card over to this 64 gigabyte SD card. Now that it's formatted properly with God Mode 9, we're good to go and it's going to be working with our 3DS. As you can see, it obviously already reads it. I'm going to go ahead and hold the R button and hit start to power off my 3DS and then I'll meet you guys over on the computer. So we're here on the computer. Luckily I have a double SD card reader. So you can see here's my 64 gigabyte God Mode 9 SD card that we formatted on the actual 3DS itself and plugged into my other SD card slot is my original SD card which is only an 8 gigabyte card. Now don't be thrown off by all these random like bootluma.firms and all these things that you see here. I randomly use a boot CTR9 to boot Luma legacy build without Rosalina as well as booting 8.1.1 with Rosalina. So those are the only reasons that those are any different than your SD card. Now simply what we need to do here to get this to work on our 3DS with all of our homebrew, all of our apps, all of our saves is simply copy all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and hit copy and I'm going to go over to my new SD card and just hit paste. So it's now copying over around four gigabytes of data. I will meet you guys back in here in a second when it finishes. As you can see here, I have a perfect copy of my original SD card now on my 64 gigabyte God Mode 9 SD card. I'm going to go ahead and safely eject these from my computer and then we're going to go ahead and plug it into the 3DS and see if it boots up my old home menu. So I've got my SD cards right here. I'm going to go ahead and pop out my new 64 gigabyte one and plug her back in. I'm going to go ahead and just power it on and we'll see what happens. There we go. As you can see here, I literally have my exact same theme I even had in everything. I've got all my same applications, same games, and all my homebrew, even my injections, are still behind my other games. Pretty freaking unreal. It's that easy to get a 64 or even 128 gigabyte SD card working on your custom firmware 3DS. Now, if you have a non-custom firmware 3DS and you want to upgrade to a larger SD card such as this, stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can just use GUI format to do exactly the same thing as we did here using God Mode 9. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you now have a larger SD card. I was using that 8 gigabyte SD card forever and literally every time I had to make a video I would have to uninstall something or remove a, even a couple of games to free up enough space say if I wanted to make a NAND backup for the video or something like that. Now with 64 gigabytes, I'm hoping I'm going to have enough room to have all the games I want, all the homebrew applications, and much, much more. I'll catch you guys next time. Much love. Peace.